All right, so I'm sure everyone has heard Messi coming to the United States, playing possibly through 2026. And the big question now, where will Lionel Messi play? I'm going to be exploring his future home, Miami Freedom Park, which will be opening in 2025 once again. The contract that Messi signed has an option for 2026, so he could be playing here for two seasons. State-of-the-art new MLS soccer stadium. They're going up all over the place in the United States. A lot of people saying MLS closing in on the NHL, possibly as the fourth most popular major sport in America. Let's just take a look at some of the facts. 100% privately funded project. And that's one of the things we're starting to see more and more of in the United States, the public not wanting to foot the bill for, you know, some of these bigger stadiums. If you're a billionaire, you should be able to afford it. And now the billionaires are starting to get groups together, investment groups, to privately fund a lot of these projects. Miami Freedom Park will pay 57% over fair market value rent to the city. Miami Freedom Park will pay $2.67 billion in rent to the city over the lease of the term, and the lease, I believe, is for 99 years, which is pretty remarkable. Miami Freedom Park will contribute $6.3 billion in tax revenue. Miami Freedom Park will lease 73 acres from the city, which is so impressive considering the issues that other teams have had in trying to build stadiums and areas in and around Miami. We have know the Miami Hurricanes trying to build a stadium right now, trying to get out, of, get out of Hard Rock. They're struggling. So that is a lot. 73 acres. They will create a bunch of jobs. They will create the largest park in the city. That's that's the whole part. That, that's like the idea of the stadium complex. If you guys aren't familiar, in the United States, what happens normally when they build a new stadium They buy a lot of the surrounding area and build it up as well. They're creating the largest park within Miami, also included in this project, $25 million to public parks as well. And we can get a look at the park right there. I guess the stadium is in the top right in this image, just for reference. But you can see it looks like two big fields Maybe they might repurpose those or something, or that just might be part of the park. There is the actual stadium, which is, again, privately funded. You can take a look at it. Very, very nice. It has the big canopy overhang, which will block a lot of the brutal sun in Florida from the fans, keeping them nice and shaded. Just taking a look at the suites area. Looks like a three... That looks like three suites stacked on top of each other, which is so rare for an MLS stadium. You know, if MLS keeps getting more and more popular in America, we might have to start seeing some of these stadiums get expanded in terms of their capacity, especially with Messi now. Yeah, you can see all of the little bar areas. That's what those little black things are. That's like bar area seating. And then above that, yeah, that's three different suite levels with club seating within the second level. That is a very kind of futuristic vibe for Miami Freedom Park. That is just a view far away. You know, a lot of acres, a lot of area for this complex to have. Very, very peaceful. There is a nice aerial shot of it. You can see the canopy really pronounced in that image. And looks like they do have some soccer fields up. Yeah, they've got a lot of soccer fields up right above. Looks like northwest of the actual stadium from this photo. And they also have some baseball fields as well towards the southwest. And then this is the full setup, 58-acre publicly accessible park. You can see the MLS team, 25,000-seat stadium With MLS, they've kind of expanded it. It seems like they they were going with around 20K, but now they're bumping it up to 25K in terms of capacity. Multi-purpose fields with parking, soccer village for food, beverage, and retail. So this is a full area in and around the stadium that they are putting up. That is the entire lot right there. There's a nice view of the exterior of the stadium. I do wonder if that lights up at all. Uh, Maybe I could find some photos of it at night to see, Uh, but I'm just going to kind of go through the rest of these pictures just to show you the entire complex, the entire area where Messi will be playing in 2025 and possibly 2026. They are also building a new stadium for New York City FC. 
They have a horrible situation. I believe right now they're, they've are they been playing at Yankee Stadium, which is just brutal because the capacity of it's like 50K. So they're getting their own custom stadium located right next to the New York Mets City Field. And that's a project that's going to be completed in 2027. I believe the cost of that might be over a billion. It's either $700 million or a billion dollars because, honestly, it's probably a billion. The, the issue with New York City, it just is so costly to do anything. City Field costs well over a billion. Yankee Stadium costs like $3 billion in today's money to build. Uh, it's just the area is so expensive. The land is so expensive. But uh, that is the; those are the full renderings for Miami Freedom Park. And then this is New York City FC. I would say it's a solid-looking stadium. It has a very similar setup now. You're seeing all of these, maybe a little bit less pronounced overhang. But pretty much every soccer stadium I see go up, whether it's MLS or in Europe, it, it, they're all going to have overhangs. And the Buffalo Bills are doing something similar with a canopy. The idea is it protects the fans from the elements, but you also get the you know the whole outdoor vibe of it. The American sports has kind of done the whole retractable roof thing. The MLB is obsessed with retractable roofs right now. The NFL is a little bit different. They go with more fixed domes with translucent roofs, but... You can see kind of how these stadiums are set up. The entire one side is like club seating, exclusive suite seating. And then the other side is just a wall of, you know, one or two levels of seats right there. So that is the New York City FC stadium. That's not going to be happening until 2027. So those are the two new MLS stadiums. And then the other one, I mean, you can kind of call it new uh, in San Diego, Snapdragon Stadium. But that was originally built for, you know, it's not specifically built for the MLS. It was it was built for the Aztecs, a college football team, and once San Diego got the expansion MLS team, they moved in there, and that is the other newer MLS stadium. They can begin play there immediately because it's been done since 2022. Its first year was last year, I believe, for San Diego State, that is. And it's a little bit bigger. I believe it's a 35,000 in terms of capacity. So we'll have to see if they can fill that up in San Diego. I think they'll be able to. San Diego, when it comes to professional sports, all they have is the Padres because they lost the Chargers, an NFL team, and they do not have an NBA team. So also San Diego is building a big arena that seats 16,000 people that they're, they might be trying to get either an NBA or an NHL team there. Uh, but that is just the situation surrounding Snapdragon Stadium, which will host San Diego State as well as the San Diego new MLS team. They had a nice little investment group, a grand opening there for it. That happened a few weeks ago, I saw. So that is the Miami Freedom Park where Lionel Messi will be playing his home game starting in 2025. It's a big area, a lot bigger than the, the, the New York City FC. In fairness, I mean, it's just so hard with New York City. And just another interesting thing with the Miami Freedom Park in Miami, you can see these were original renderings. These are not the final product. The first renderings I showed everyone, that, that's what's actually going up. That was on the official website. These are just the original ones. You can see the roof is a completely different design. Kind of reminds me of like a conch shell. I mean, you could say it reminds you like a toilet bowl a little bit, but that's kind of just how roofs are, you know, if they don't fully enclose. that That's a nice design. I'm, I'm not going to lie, it is a nice design, but they didn't decide to go with that one. I will say I do like kind of the roof a little bit better, honestly, on the old one. It's too bad. I mean, imagine if they would have opened it this year. That, that would have been just cra crazy raucous, just crazy crowds. But uh, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.